hello everyone and welcome to another exciting one today we are going to take a look at a very important essential add-on that i can't live without in my day-to-day -day workflow inside of blender and i think you should use them too if you haven't yet already so let's jump right into it so first we are going to start with the bull tool let's say you want to create some booleans on this shape so let's just do shift d to create a duplicate and then let's do s to scale it down and then let's put it somewhere in like this so let's say we want to apply boolean um, operations to this shape here usually how we are going to do this is to select this shape come here add in a boolean modifier and then we select our boolean object and then if we hide sorry if we hide this boolean you can see we have a boolean taking effect here see we have several you have to undertake several um steps and marks clicks to to achieve this um simple aim what if you can do it faster so let me delete this and then let me unhide this right so that's where the bool tool comes into play so to enable the bool tool it's a free add-on that comes with blender you just have to go to your edit preference then you search for your bool tool right so this right here is the bool tool if i toggle this menu you can see it comes with a lot of operations and shortcuts that you can take your time to go through right so they have the auto operators and then they have the brush operators right so you can just take your time to go through right so let's say with your bool tool enabled now if you want to do that same operations that took us a couple of months click all you have to do is select this object that you want to use for the boolean and then you hold shift and then select the last object so this one right so you can do control minus and then your boolean will be applied and if you comes to if you come to your modifiers tab you will see it automatically adds in a boolean modifier and then it will set it to difference which by the way you can change it to union if you want or intersect if you want right so it will set it to difference for you and then it hides this shape by turning its view so if you go to our where is it if we go to our visibilities you know if you, yeah if we go to our viewport visibilities it sends the display to bounce bounds right so it sends it to the bounce boss which is this view like this so that's it for the Google tools it comes with a lot of um, cool modify cool um, shortcuts that you can learn for yourself so that's a very important and useful tool that i can live without it so let's go to the next one so the next one on the list is our node wrangler tool so let's quickly add in a shape here so i would go to my circle sorry yes i'll go to my mesh shift a add mesh and then i'll go to my uv sphere to add in a sphere right so we have this sphere here i'll drag my gather up so that i create a big space here and then i'll change this interface to a shader editor right so let's change this to this um, view so that we can see right click let's shade it smooth for now and then let's apply some material so the node wrangler to enable the node wrangler just go to your edit preference and then search for the node wrangler so this one and then make sure it's enabled it also comes with a lot of cool shortcuts that you can check out for yourself if you toggle down and then you toggle show hot skills list dozens of shortcuts that you can go through learn just to make your workflow even more faster and um, take away a lot of time but i'm going to show you some cool tricks and tips that i use whenever i'm using um, i'm doing my shading so i'll just hit on new to create a new material let's just change the color for um for demo purposes so we have this right so let's say we want to add in uh, color ramp to this right so usually what we do is we do shift a search and then we search for color ramp right which will bring our color ramp and then we plug this color ramp into here right but then there's a, even a quicker way to do that without doing the shift a so let me unplug it here so i'll just hold here drag and leave it and then it will automatically bring me to the search and i can quickly search for whatever node i want to plug into the base shader so in this case we can do gradient gradient texture and then i can click on it and then it will be automatically applied like this and then everything will be joined nicely so that's one thing i usually use so the second thing i also use most of the time is 
control t so let's say if we select this one and then we want to apply our tensor coordinates to it we just have to select it and then hit on control t and then it will automatically apply the mapping and then the texture coordinates as well so you can easily change it from uv let's say if you have um, uv shading and all those cool stuff the next thing that we usually do is when we have let's say we have then we select this principle shader here and then let's do shift d to duplicate it right so let's say i have several several sh um, shaders around or several nodes that i want to text all you have to do is select the node shift control and then click on it and it will automatically swap from this node from this node to the other all right so shift right click swap and then shift right click i can easily use that to preview um what effect a particular node is using the other cool stuff too is by holding control you can just delete um two node links as simple as that so control and then left left click control and then right click it will turn my mouse to a knife and then i can easily use it to cut between the links of one or two nodes like this as easy as that so that's it for the node wrangler just take your time go through the settings in the edit menu and then you'll be able to have cool stuff and speed up your workflow so let's move to the next one so the next one which is very very important one and which is very cool and i think it's not um, mentioned much enough is the copy attributes um plugin right so to enable that one let's go back to our preference and then let's search for copy right so we go to interface copy attributes menu so what this plugin does is very very useful and cool and i can't um, stress it much enough so let's say we have two shapes here so let me do shift d to create a duplicate of this shape right and then let's say i apply a couple of modifiers to this shape so first let's apply a solidifies um su subsurface modifier and then let's see, let's apply um, a bevel modifier as well so let's just change the position and let's increase the segment to two right so we have something like this right so now let's say we want to copy the modifiers of this one the the, the, the quickest and easiest way is just select the two so mostly what we do is we usually select the two and then we do ctrl l and then we can do link where is it copy modifiers right but in this case it just copies all the two modifiers at a time we can't um select one modifier let's say we want to copy only the bevel or want to copy only the subdivision we can't um do that with this basic one but with the other one enabled if we select these two and then we do ctrl c you can see we have the copy attributes menu here and then there's a whole lot of things we can copy right there's a whole lot of things we can copy so let's just come to the select copy selected modifiers so what this does is if i click on it it brings all the modifiers that this has and then we can just select an individual one so just in this case we can just select bevel and then we hit on ok and then it will create only it will copy only the bevel modifier without the subdivision surface modifier that's one cool thing i use almost all the time and then next let's say i select this shape here then g i, I position it somewhere here and then r I rotate i rotate it and then let's say i scale it down right i can easily copy the position the rotation and the scale of this object and then apply it to this one so let's say i select this object hold shift and then select the last one Control c and then i can easily copy the rotation you see it's rotated just as this one Control c then i can easily copy the scale so that this and this have the same scale Control c then i can easily copy the location right so it's copying the exact location of this one like this so obviously it's a very important tool you can't do without so I, I recommend you turn it on inside any blender install you do and take your time to play around with that one too as well so let's move to the next one let me quickly select these two and then delete so the next one that i it's obvious that everyone uses maybe you've not turned it on and you should is the extra object and then the extra curve so edit reference extra so these two we have add extra curves and then add extra object so what it does is it adds in extra a lot of extra cool objects and curve to the standard objects that come with blender so now if we do shift a and then shift a mesh you can see we have 
all these extra objects round cube torus object math function gears pipe joint all of these extra objects and then these extra ones added um by added because of enabling the extra object so let's just look at this round cube right it's just a round cube if you toggle here we can change the preset from a cube to a quad sphere so we have a perfect sphere but then it comes with it's full of quads we can decrease or increase the radius here as we want so it comes with a lot of cool um, cool objects that you can just look at it and then um, choose from you can have a torus object like this with all its operators we can decrease increase create some cool effects here and there it comes with a lot of extra object as the name suggests so you can just take your time and then play with it so it comes with gs worms and all those cool stuff that you can play around with and then the same as the extra so let's just do shift a once again then if you come to our curves we have all these extra curve profiles that are added because we created the extra so we have curve spirals which are cool cool extra objects that you can add to your blender to create some cool cool effects here and there so that's it for the extra objects and extra um, cool stuff so the next one it is very also very popular and i think you should enable is the loop tools so let me just delete all of this then let's do shift a and then let's just add in a cube for now so let's say i want to create several holes I want to create several holes within my within my cube right so let me just go to my face select mode and then let me just select these faces let's say i want to create holes within these faces right i'll just do i for insect and then i'll insect and then i'll make sure i have my insert set to individual and then let me just back the thickness off a bit like this but I have my intersection set to individual, right? And then I can easily right click, go to my loop tool, and then choose circle, right? In this case, it's not even showing. So let me just change. And then let's see. So let me just say I want to punch in holes here. So I let's insect here. So let me just take individual for now, right? So I want to punch in holes here. One big hole here, right? I can right click loop to circle and then it turns my the selection into a circle right i can do s to scale it down like this then i can easily create my extrusion like this right to create to punch in my hole right so that's one uses for the loop tool they have a lot of other cool stuff like the curve the circle the bridge so let's let's just play around with the bridge let me jump out of edit mode and then let's do shift a and then let's add in a cylinder tap into edit mode once again select the top and bottom we do i to insect x and then we delete these faces right so let's say i want to bridge the, this middle loop i can just go to my edge select mode select this edge hold shift select this other edge and then i for loop tools and then i do bridge and you see the gaps are bridged very nicely for me and easily and it comes with other cool stuff too that you can try check out like this flatten help to flatten out um shapes and all that cool stuff so the next which i think is the last one is this one let's go to our preference and then let's look for our pie right so interface 3d pie menu so let me select that one and then let's drop down and see so this also help you to create a lot of pie menus inside blender that will help make your navigations a breeze and simple as possible so let's try a few ones to see right so let me hide and then let me select so if we do control a you see we are greater with the pile menu and then we can easily apply if let's say we want to apply scale we can easily apply scale or we can apply all we can clear transformation and all that um, cool stuff it comes with a lot of pie menus it tends it basically turns every menu most or most of the menus inside blender into a pie menu so if we do control s 
you see we are greeted with a pie menu like this so we can do save new save us and that cool stuff so if you are into pie menus and you think it will help you speed up your workflow then apply enabling the pie menus is very very crucial and important and you can go through and check uh, check with all the cool stuff that it comes along with so we have a we have w a lot a lot of cool stuff that you can just take your time and then experiment with so shift alt s will bring you to the 3d if you want to quickly change um editors right shift alt s and then you can quickly um, change editors all space will bring a lot of cool stuff so let's say we want to rotate we can quickly rotate all space translate we can quickly move all space scale and then we can quickly scale up so it comes with a lot of cool 3d menus that will help you um navigate navigate your 3d viewport and increase your speed enormously if you turn it on so i suggest you take a look into that one as well thank you very much for watching i know all my videos are very long but i try to make it as educational and relevant as possible so that you learn a lot inside my videos anytime you take your time to watch them thank you very very much for watching if you haven't please make sure you subscribe i'm going to leave timestamps in the description below in case you want to check out particular add-on to enable see you on the next one it's my friend peace out